What's up guys out here on the range? Now there's some must have pieces of gear and some that just are pretty nice. I wanna go over one of the pieces of gear that to me is now a must have, but it's, it's not if you're getting into the game, but it really unlocks some doors. So the tripod. The tripod is mostly used for observation. I think more people associate it for that than they do for shooting, but it's an excellent shooting tool as well. So if you rig your tripod up with a uh, tripod kit like this one from Armageddon Gear, I can carry my rangefinder in here. I have a little table. I keep my kestrels, mags. I can use it to, as I'm observing targets downrange Mirage, I can get my data cards ready. I can look at it. Once I see where the Mirage is, I can turn a tripod with a kestrel mounted into it and let it collect data as I'm getting ready. So like a tripod is very good for observation. Uh, you know, but the, the shooting side of it really is where you can unlock some doors on getting those few little points here and there. So I don't shoot with the tripod very much. It's just not as handy where I shoot uh, in the PRS, which is mostly in the Southeast, but there's certain times we can use it and we'll go over a few of those points right now. All right, so if you're in the real world hunting, tactical, no rules of competition, something like that, the most general way you'd probably use a tripod is just shooting off of it. So I got a hog saddle on here. I can clamp whatever rifle I want into it if I prefer to. And I have the right capability, such as Arca, I can clamp my rifle directly into it. I have a, a solid platform that I can set up, whether it be a ground blind or just shooting or clear and brush or whatever. But when you're in a PRS match, you have rules, you know, and you may have to shoot off of certain props and that has to be the primary support. But that's where we can start using this to aid in a little bit more stability and help us with wind calls and stuff like that. So that's what we're fixing to break into. All right, so when it comes down to us using a tripod as extra stability to supplement a prop, prop we have, we need to look at two things. Are we gonna be in one position only shooting from there? That way we can set up a certain height uh, of the tripod or are we gonna have to be going all over the place? If you're shooting in very windy situations or at very small targets or possibly both of them, a tripod definitely helps out. If you're gonna be setting up and taking all your shots from one position, that's your entire part time, well, a tripod can be pretty handy because it gives you that, that extra support. However, if you're gonna be moving around from prop to prop in different heights, you're gonna to have to manage that tripod and that can be very troublesome for a lot of guys and you can time out. So if I can run a stage with the typical gear that I always have, that's my, favorite way of doing it however if it like I said if it's very windy and I don't know if I can get a wind call or if it's very wobbly you know that's where I'm going to want to use the tripod to set up so the first uh, way most guys use a tripod is using the legs so if I'm going to set up on the target I'm looking at it down range I see the target and I've got my tripod set taller than I need it and if I can, I'm always gonna drag it from right to left being a right-handed shooter because as you see, if I drag it from right to left, it just drags. If I go the other way, I can start collapsing it. So I'd rather do it like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just have the tripod close at hand. I'm gonna get on the gun, I'm gonna acquire the target. While I'm looking at it, if I can, I'm gonna drag that tripod just underneath it, wrap my arm around. And from here, I really like to use this butt hook because I can grab that gun real well and I can pull that gun into that butt hook. So now I'm pinching this stock off to this and I can work it up and down and find the perfect angle that's gonna allow me to take that shot. So it's simple, float the crosshairs on the target, move the tripod till it contacts the stock, pinch it in, get stable, break your shot. So that's a, a very easy way to get it. Now what benefits this, if you're gonna move from position to position, is when you go down to a, a different height, well, at that point, it's the same thing. As I'm sitting there, I'm just gonna acquire the target, bring it in, pinch it off, uh-huh, break the shot. So it's, this is gonna be the more versatile uh, way of setting up a tripod and using it, and we'll take a few shots here just to kind of demonstrate, and we'll show how I'd run a skill stage if I was gonna use it. All right, so what we're gonna demonstrate here is if we wanna use a tripod against, say, something like a PRS skill stage, it's got a little bit of wobble in it, we got some wind, we got a thin target, all those things together will indicate if we wanna use a tripod. So, main role to me on the tripod is I want it to supplement a good position, not necessarily make a bad one better, which it's handy at. We're gonna still build as solid of a position as we can, but we're gonna use the tripod to support us. So, going hot, I'm gonna make five runs, or five positions, 
and you'd have to start all geared hand a PRS match. So under the command, we'd go. I'm going to set the tripod off to the right. I'm going to put the gun down. It'd be nice if we didn't have that chamber flag and magazine already in it. So I'm going to build a pretty good position already. I'm going to move the tripod in to supplement it. Load, make a wind call. Impact. I'm going to move the gun up by itself. Do the same thing while I'm acquiring the target. I'm going to move the tripod in underneath. I see the target. Slow and steady. Got it. All right. So now I'm going to go in through the port and put my gun in, rotate it, stand it up, move it to that 90 degree best I can. Take the leg. Nothing changed. Same thing. Got it. All right, rotate out, replace it, settle it in. I can't stress enough about settling it in. Let that sand coat over this prop and it's gonna make your life way easier. Now the tripod is only helping. It's not doing the majority of the work. I level out my gun, hold into that tripod, it's rock steady. All right, easy does it. Got it. For the final position, same thing. I'm going to drop the gun and bag down as one, line up my tripod, find the target, acquire it, move the tripod in. Impact. So using this helps me if it's really windy, I'm going to be able to get a better wind call because I'm a lot more solid. The gun's not recoiling. If the prop's wobbly, I got something solid to support it. If it's uh, a real narrow target it, it prevents some of the left to right so these tripods can really help you out and this is the best way i found to use it if you're changing a lot of multiple heights so now we're going to talk about what we would do if it's only one height to shoot off of we're going to simulate this position here we're going to be using the tack table we're not going to be moving we're going to be able to be building one position so if you're going to be building one position you might as well make it as solid as you can that way you can read as much uh, downrange info as possible so same thing, I'm gonna start with the bag that I normally use, pretty much just ignore the tripods there. I'm gonna set the gun up on it and still settle it in. We can't stress enough about settling it in. Get it in and looking really good. Now, as you can see right there, I'm at a perfect height to use this rear bag at whichever angle I want to. It's right there, so we're gonna load up. Put the ears on. I'm still gonna square it behind the rifle best I can, point it at it. Hold it on the target, manipulate my rear bag till it's where I want it. I'll be right there. Now pretty much have a modified prone position. It is rock solid. I should be able to see trace and watch the plate swing. Then we'll load up, take a few shots. Now stay in it when the gun goes off. Impact, follow up shots are nice and easy because the reticle didn't even bounce off the target. Impact. At this point, I can just run it. And that's it. Super solid. It's not worth setting up like this if you're gonna be doing different heights, but if you're gonna make one position, one position only, say you're shooting a TYL rack and you want that added stability when you get down to that smallest target, this is a very viable option. We're gonna show you one more time that a tripod might really help. So say I'm going to have to shoot off this tank trap and it's my one and only position. I might want to choose the tips because they're open, but they're less surface area. So say I have this cradle here that I want to shoot off of. Well, my target's straight that way. So it's, it's, it's a mighty fine position for the gun to be in and the gun will point at it absolutely fine. But guess what? I'm going to have trouble reaching in to shoot. I'm going to have trouble running the bolt, things like that. It's all up in the way. So what if... This is what's nice about this manor stock with this teeth uh marker rail on it you can put a plate on it that kind of frees up your workspace so now i can put the rifle up forward bring my tripod to the back and shoot how we demonstrated and now my bolt's free and i've moved my points of contact back so we're going to try demonstrating a few of these on the clock real time and seeing how steady we can get with these three shots all right so we're going to demonstrate it I'm going to move up. I'm going to set my tripod just off to the right, how we discussed. I'm going to put my rifle down on the prop. 
At this point, I'm going to load and make ready. I'm going to acquire my target. There it is. Looks good. Simply move it in. Feels good. Right off the right. I saw the trace. The wind got me. Got it. Got it. So this is very solid like that. This gives you another option to shoot if uh, a prop doesn't give you enough work space to work within. You know, a tripod can allow you to move support away from that prop, giving you the ability to do what you need to do.